Um, you know, the administration has been clear when, when they're targeting the foreigners overseas, the calls and emails that land in the U.S. are the ones that are especially interesting, right? And um, so as they sweep this up, you're going to get a number of communications where an American is on the other end. So we do end up in the final take, the database, right? And so the question is, is after the targeting happens, after they collect the information, what are the rules for how the government could actually access and use that? Um, sometimes these ideas are kind of meshed together, but there are two separate rules, right? The targeting of what they get, that's the foreigners overseas. But once it's in the databases at NSA or FBI, it's a whole other set of rules that are much more lax that allow them to search for information that belongs to a U.S. person without a warrant or necessarily a um, finding of wrongdoing whatsoever. And that is um, one of the things that's been such subject to debate.